To write the name for AlOH3, the first thing we need to realize is this OH right here. This is a polyatomic ion. This is called the hydroxide ion. We actually have three of them. So we have this polyatomic ion, and then we have a metal, aluminum. So we have a metal and these nonmetals. This is an ionic compound. We're going to name it using these rules right here. First, we write the name for the metal. That's Al, which is aluminum. Next, we're going to write the name for the polyatomic ion. This is the hydroxide ion, probably one you should remember. And the name for AlOH3 is just aluminum hydroxide. Note when you have an OH and it's bonded to a nonmetal like carbon, if it's bonded to carbon, that's not going to be a hydroxide. That'll be an alcohol. But since we have a metal here, this is the hydroxide ion. If we were given the name aluminum hydroxide and asked to write the formula, you'd have to realize that aluminum has a 3 plus ionic charge and the whole hydroxide has a 1 minus. So we need three of these 1 minus hydroxide ions to balance out the 3 plus on the aluminum ion. This is Dr. B with the name for ALOH3, aluminum hydroxide. Thanks for watching.